Oh man, we are back, guys, with another episode of Terra Firma Punk. And if you remember, we left off in a bit of a weird situation here. <laughs> so we are surrounded by Minotaurs. And as you know, in Terra Firma Punk, cow eats you, right? We can't go outside. They'll, they'll eat us, for sure. Uh, this is actually a pretty cool situation, though. Like, don't get me wrong, we're in a bad situation, but, like, if this was normal Minecraft. There's so many ways to cheese your your way out of a tough situation like this. Like we could just wait here, and they would wander off. They would despawn. They'd burn up in the sun. Whatever. Like regular mobs are no threat. Uh, but in like Terra Firm Punk, we can't even dig our way out of here. Like if we try to dig out a tunnel under the building here and get out, it's gonna cave in on us and kill us, right? Like we actually have to deal with the situation. If we don't do anything, more and more mobs are just going to show up at nighttime, right? So, <laughs> it's kind of cool in that way. Uh, so, you guys suggested to get out of this, open up the trap door and open up the door. And hopefully, they'll wander in and just fall down in our fun little basement there. We might need to, like, I don't think the pathfinding is going to work that way. I think we need to alternate the floor. Try to get him to see the floor. Oh, yeah, he came in. Oh, we got him. Nice. First try. Okay, is there another one? No, oh, we got a little bit of a leg spike there. I kind of fixed the, the leg issue. It was a, a memory problem. I had 8 gigs assigned before, for some reason. <laughs> I bumped it down to, like, 5, right? So the leg spikes are going to be not as bad, but they might happen more often. I'm, I don't know. I guess I didn't really solve the problem, though. You know, I think we're safe here. I think we can go out. I think that other guy's stuck on the fence. Aw, oh, yeah! Freedom! Free at last, free at last. Okay, what are we going to do here? We have a little bit of the day left. Oh, we could do some things. It's just like after breakfast here. All right, we got the whole day ahead of us. I guess uh, we should get some clay today. Yeah, we still got a bit of a shovel here. We got to get some sticks, too. Still a few uh, few mobs around, actually. Oh, clay over here. Awesome. Yeah, yellow flowers always mean clay. Uh, I guess we'll dig this up and uh, take it from there. Oh, that's it. Oh, you see the beauty over there? You see it? Look at that beauty. Oh, yeah. Two more over here. <laughs> I think they fall by trees, maybe, because, like, there's no sticks on the ground. I can't find any. And there's, like, three under this tree, so I think that's the trick. Oh, we got another one. Like, we can, we can break the tree and get sticks, but it kind of takes a bit of time. And actually, let's try something here, now that I think of it. Uh, I read, I think you can get sticks using the hammer, actually. So on the Wayla, you see it says, use a hammer on the tree. It's a harvestable. It takes quite a bit of time, still. Oh, it just breaks one log. Okay, but we did get sticks. What was that, four or three? Uh-huh. So if, we, if we're desperate, that's another way we can do it. Ah, uh, but it takes a lot of time. So we should just keep our eye out for, for any on the ground here. Such as right over here, look at that. Ah, we got some zinc. Very good, very good. Sphalerites. Oh man, this is gonna be awkward, isn't it? Like, the widow's still here. I'm gonna have to see her every day. And be reminded that I, I killed her husband. In self-defense, obviously, but uh, still. It's kind of like... Uh, man, I can't imagine, like, some people... You know how some people upset their neighbors? Like, they borrow tools and never return them, right? They gotta live with that. Like they gotta, they gotta see those people all the time. Walk by them every day, and like, feel the guilt. That's gotta be rough. Oh, it's starting to rain. <laughs> don't do it, guys. Don't, don't borrow tools and never return them. Cause then you got that awkward situation every day of your life. It's just not worth it, you know. Anyways, I digress. Uh, we should actually, you know, let's do this. Let's let's make her her friend, our friend here. We should start a pig family. I, I think I'm ready for that responsibility. Um, so let's get some knives. 
Oh, I messed it up. Are you kidding? All right, and then uh, got lots of sticks now. We can make knives. Good. So I think the way this works, if I remember right, we put the wheat in here, and we chop off the, the extra straw or whatever, and that should give us some th some more straw here. And it turns into this wheat grain. Yeah, we got about 30 or so from that, right? 32 maybe? Um, then with this wheat grain, if I remember right, you can put in a corn and like uh, bust it down and make dough out of it for bread uh, and eat that yourself. Or you can just feed it straight to a lot of the different animals like pigs. Yeah, you got to hold shift. You see a black heart comes up here and... It's not like Minecraft. You see, we got the check mark on the whaler there. Uh, it's not like uh, normal Minecraft where you feed them once and you're friends for life. You gotta like keep feeding them constantly. Oh, that's some some copper here. Okay, I'm making another marker. Copper. Ooh, I lost counts. Let's say four. Oh, it was three. It should have been three. <laughs> Anyways. We gotta keep feeding her, like, every day now. If we don't, like, every day, she's gonna forget about us and it's it'll be all for nothing. So, it's like a project now. Keeping her happy. Okay, we can make a pick now. Let's grab this copper. Is this uh, any good? It's 15 units! No! Garbage quality copper, guys. Like, you can either get 15 units, 25, or 35. This is the worst of the worst. Oh, and I used up the shovel. Okay. Let's get another one. We are having inventory issues, but it's probably worth it. Okay, make it a shovel. Nice. Always good to have tools. And dig that. Okay, let's, let's get as much copper as we can here before nighttime. And then we can probably cook up some tools, get a saw, and like really start making progress. And grab this one, and this one, and I think there's this, this one. And then I think we pretty much grabbed everything, right? Check the water. Looks looks pretty empty. Oh, there's a spider there already. Okay. Um. Okay, we can't go back just yet. We're not going to go crazy mining or anything here. Like, <laughs> uh, We can mine safely as long as there's no rocks above our head. Otherwise, we got to worry about it caving in on us. Okay, we're going back now. We're safe, we're good. Oh, there's more, more copper here, really. Oh, and there's another piece over here. Man, okay, I'm going to make another marker really quickly here. New copper five. Let's do three because we didn't have a three. Good. Okay, now we go home. Ah, uh, looks like there's a spider in between. Oh, and those are mountain trolls to the right there. Okay. We gotta, like, really get our dodges going good here. So we go over here. We don't want to attract them. You know, they're having a good night. We don't want to interrupt their, their pleasant mood or anything. We'll just go around. You know? We're, we're polite like that. We're courteous. And look at that. We're home sweet home. Just like that. All right, let's uh, let's get some stuff here. I guess I could have done that, uncompressed it. Um, we should actually. I got a nighttime project in mind here. If we're not going to get disturbed by these guys. Oh, okay, no, we're we're not doing any nighttime project. We're going inside. Oh, from behind. I didn't see that guy. <laughs> he is like running and swinging at me. Do you see that? Oh man, that scared me. Okay. No nighttime projects. We're going to stay inside. I, I wanted to... I don't want to get too close to them. I wanted to mine out the dirt by the fence there so that they couldn't walk over it like they've been doing. But that might have to be a daytime project. Let's make one more of these, too. Because uh, they're kind of easy to do. Alright, cool. So we got two things to cook up during the day. We could maybe do another few things. But let's not worry about that right now. Um, what else? Oh yeah, I, I wanted to talk about the food situation. So you guys might notice we are, we're at 959 max health. Some of you very astute viewers have noticed that I started with a thousand and it's been going down constantly. What's going on? 
Am I eating junk food or why why am I getting weaker here? It's because in Terra Firma Craft you have a food system with five food groups. These slowly go down over time, and as they go down, your max health decreases. So in order to stay in tip-top shape, we got to eat all five food groups and keep this filled up. Uh, and even like if I have, I've been mostly eating fruit and vegetables, but even those have gone down a little bit. So if we look at our max health, 958, we just gained four points by eating carrots. So this filled up a little bit. It might fill up a little bit more. No, I think it might be maxed out actually. It's not going up now. Yeah, so we're maxed out on veg. We need fruit, grain, protein, dairy to like get up there even more. And I think if you gain experience points as you gain levels, you also gain max health. So you can go beyond a thousand health by doing that. And I'm just like blabbing on here, trying to pass time. <laughs> I think it's gonna be worse during the day here to get out of th this situation, like than the Minotaurs, because we got spiders, we got mountain trolls. And I saw a bug out there too, like one of those those ones that grab you. I don't think these guys are gonna wander off. Oh, good, an another spider. Uh, I don't think they're gonna come in. They're too big. They're too chunky. They won't fit through the door. <laughs> okay, we can't do the same trick. We gotta do something different today. Um. Okay. I have one idea. The safest way to get out of here that I see is to take advantage of the fence. Most of the mobs are inside the fence because I didn't uh, knock out the land like I wanted to at nighttime there. So once we get past the fence, they probably won't be able to chase us is my thinking. So I think the safe, safest way to exit the building is actually out here put this back. We're going to have to break the glass, though. So. Put this here. So they aren't affected by gravity. I think we can just run out here. And we might be safe. There's like no... Let's get the blocks ready just in case. It's going to be hard to fix this if it doesn't work, though. Okay, it kind of worked. Yeah, you know, let's just keep, keep running. <laughs> yeah. See that? They're stuck inside the fence. It kind of worked like I thought it would. All right, good. Uh, we can't really set up a pit kiln there. Um, so maybe let's go find a new spot for that instead. And also let's feed, let's feed the widow while we're here. All right, how you doing? All right, familiarized, good stuff. So as uh, as we do this, the heart's gonna get it's gonna turn red slowly. Is the idea? Uh, let's fill up on water. Okay. So I saw some trees over that way. We haven't been there yet. Um, we're gonna need some some logs for the pit kilns here. So that's probably a good place to go. Let's explore a little bit further here. Hmm. There's a. Oh, it's a bear. <laughs> I saw the lake, I was like, yeah, you know, this might be a good place to live, actually. And then I saw the bear, and it's like, yeah, you know, it's a terrible place to go, actually. Okay. There's lots of trees here, though. Like, if we need logs, this is the place to go. we got a forest. And there's tons of sticks on the ground here, probably. Yeah, it looks like it. Okay, so let's chop down some trees. I know I really shouldn't use the mini-map for... Uh, for checking things, but I see two two guys here. Oh, they're, uh... Oh, cool, we got some pheasants. Just making sure they're not bears, you know. <laughs> uh, looks like we're safe on that side. Okay, let's, let's keep chopping. Oh. Oh, we were one short. So the axe, it uses up the durability until it breaks, and... Uh, if it doesn't have enough to break all the logs, some get left behind like that. Ah, we got more pigs here too. Okay. Looks like uh, they might be all female though. Some weird structure back there. We need uh, the male ones. They have the... Yeah, the tusks. Okay, that's a good guy. We will try to make friends with you. 
We're gonna need a rope though to get them back home, I think, because they don't seem to follow me when I when I hold the wheat, right? Yeah, we we like need a game plan here, guys. This is bad. It's nighttime already. Like we just went to the forest, chopped down some trees, came back because I wanted to work on the fence. I did a little bit, but it's already uh, it's already nighttime. I wanted to try and make it a bit more safer. We could mine up to two blocks away from the fence. Um, maybe put some some holes here so they can't wander through the opening. Or fall down if they try, maybe. Let's actually not do that one just yet because we might go through that way. Oh yeah, because the door is closed. We should get the pit kiln going though. Okay, so we got one... Uh, I made a mistake, actually. It's going to be hard to fix while watching our back here. <laughs> so I almost I almost fired this up, and I realized, oh, wait, that's not going to add up because we have too much copper. It's over 65%. So how do we fix this? Um, okay, let's put this here. Let's check this out. Yeah, we have more copper inside here. So if we put this in, does that add up to 200 so that's 20, 45, 95, I think that's 105, 7 times 15, right? So that's 200 total. I'm going to say yes. We're going to fire that up and just hopefully it'll create two ingots worth of bismuth bronze. Looks like we're still safe, actually. That's pretty good. Although there's a lot of mobs nearby. Okay, so this is going to get ready. Cool. And <laughs> I wanted to do more, but we got a guy here. We got Rob here. The pick's not bad, actually, at, at, as a weapon. Okay, we we killed our first mob, guys. Um, do we have time to do more here? I'm gonna try. Get some more vessels. I want to make a axe head. Oh, I gotta do it reverse though, right? This is risky. It's a clay axe mold. Yeah, I did it right. Good. Get this here. I just want to get one more pit kiln going. Try to be a bit more productive here, and then we're going to go hide inside like the men we are. Ah, I misclicked. Wasting clay. Okay. Good. We're ready. We're still safe. Nobody's coming this way. Good. Okay, so you guys were saying I can use the torches to start the fire here, too. And it's, like, guaranteed. Ah, oh, I placed it. Oh, and I broke the axe. No. <laughs> okay, let's use a hammer. We'll get some sticks this way. See some minotaurs up ahead there. So uncomfortable being out here. Is it going to work? Oh, yeah, look at that. Lit all three of them. Nice. Well, maybe we can work outside for a bit here. There's not really any mobs. Let's check this side just to be sure. Yeah, I think we're okay. So I'm going to try to dig up some of the land here to make the fence safer. All right. Cool. This might seem like a bit of a weird thing to do, but if you guys have ever played RimWorld before, you will you will understand. You will appreciate the value of a double wall. Yeah, so check this out. This is awesome. So it just turned daytime here. We have the double wall, so I don't really have to worry about leaving the building now. And like, if there's a mob on the fence, we can just go the opposite way, right? Like it's nice and easy. <laughs> or if they're on the fence, we can probably just kill them even. Pretty easily here. Uh, pick doesn't work as good on these guys. You see this? You see this? Oh, okay. He's getting a little close there. <laughs> but I think we're fairly safe. Can you can you make it across? Yeah, he won't he won't go into the hole there. I'm surprised. We gotta be careful not to get too close ourselves. Kind of annoying, he gets knocked back every time, so you can't just keep wailing on him. It's a little bit slow. You see that? It looks like he might be able to cross, though. 
Oh. Oh, that's just the rocks down in the hole there. Aha. Uh -huh. Is our pit kiln done? Is it finished? It looks like it is. Awesome. Okay, so we got hopefully bismuth bronze in, I think, this one over here. Nope. That's uh, empty one. Is it this one? Yeah, 200 units. It looks like we got the ratio right. So we're going to use that to cast uh, definitely a saw blade. Those are really nice because then we'll be able to make chests. All right, and then I think we'll go for the axe head too. The axe head's nice because we'll be able to chop down trees quicker, but we'll also have a pretty decent weapon with that. Because I looked, it's a 160 attack damage. Yeah, let's grab this over here. Fill that up. Uh, where is it? Oh, it's 150 attack damage. Okay. Like, if we were to make a sword, they're 210. So it's not that much worse than a sword, but it's a useful tool to have, too. Um, it is a different type of damage, though, right? This is slashing. Oh, no, they're both slashing. So it's not really that valuable to make a sword. It gets a little bit better attack damage, but not by much. All right. It's cool, cool. And here we go. Oh, man, making progress. We're carpenters. Um, okay, we, we have some logs left, too. So let's see here. I think you go vertically or something. Is that how it works? Okay, that makes the planks or the lumber. And then is it two by two? Okay, so that makes the, the planks. So if we get four of those, then check this out. So we can make a crafting table, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. And when you click it, it just expands your inventory. So now we have a three by three crafting grid. Also, we can place these and like build out of them, which is pretty cool. Kind of like a micro block situation. Um, and we can take these and I think the chest recipe is just like that. Oh, yeah, so we're going to have a lot of storage. We can't put everything in the in these, I don't think. But a lot of a lot of the stuff. Like, can we put dirt in? Yeah, we put dirt in. We can't put logs in. They're medium-sized, while dirt's small. Um, looks like we could probably... Oh, you can put tools in. I thought you had to put those on a tool rack. Speaking of, how do you make a tool rack? We're going to get really cozy in this uh, cabin, and then we're going to move. <laughs> we should, like, think about moving now that we have a saw, actually. Because we can actually build a, a decent house now. Um, okay, let's get some more. Yeah, tool racks are nice to have, too. They work like this. You hang them on the wall. And now, like, if we have extra knives or something, we don't have to carry them on us all the time. We can put, like, four tools on the wall here. Which is pretty cool. All right, awesome. So we did get the, the place a little bit more secure here. We're starting to get settled in. Um, now that we have a safe haven, I think we'll think about uh, expanding out to making another real place in the next episode, which it is about that time. So hopefully you enjoyed today's episode, and I'll see you again in the next one. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye-bye.